Hey all, <laughs> this is your K-pop Auntie Carly. This is my microphone actually in front of my face. This is my cider. And uh, this is EXO Universe. Thank you very much for the uh, recommendations. And who should I think in particular? How about, looks like Nazanin K. Thank you. I probably didn't pronounce your name wrong. Right. I'm sorry. Anyways, <laughs> this is the most recommended EXO song uh, as to date. So keep the recommendations coming so I know which one y'all want me to react to next. Uh, this music video is early enough that there are no English captions on them. There aren't any Korean captions on them either. It's <laughs> auto-generated, technically. Uh, so I am going to pop over to a lyrics version after this and figure this out. It's 2017, is that correct? I think that is the date on this one. Nice and early. All right, we're gonna pop in here. This, uh, the note I have on this one is that it's a meaningful, slower song. Fantastic. Um, check it out. It's usually harder for me to really get into slow songs. Like I have a more narrow range of slow songs than I like. The more the beat and the tempo and everything picks up, the, the broader range I like. So we'll see if this fits into that uh, more narrow range of slow songs that I do like. First impressions. First impressions is not too shabby. Like I do enjoy the uh, just very simple melodic instrumentation that comes along with it. The musical accompaniment. Their voices are fantastic so far. Um, cats. And uh, yeah, this might be a slower one that I do indeed like. Um, I, the MV is very visually uh soothing is that a thing visually soothing is like the visual version of asmr is that oh. <laughs> That is really cool, the uh, effect that they do with the bass hitting on time with uh, that effect in the coffee. Um, or the espressos, whatever the heck they're making. With, you know, the water, the liquid does that. It, uh, that's twice they've done it in there. It's a really cool effect. Again, visually. Definitely need to check out the lyrics because there's some definite visual representation with getting tied up and knots and everything. <laughs> Again, visually very, yeah. Like guitar in the back. I like 
like it. to know that tone right there it's gorgeous looking at the camera now uh, that does all uh, all the coffee and stuff does uh indeed remind me that in my notes was to take a look at both this and the mv and a coffee version of it so that means i'm going to pause it and see if there is uh, if there are um captions on the coffee version of it uh, because I'm really intrigued with the story that they're telling like the, visually the MV is doing a fantastic job telling a story I'm kind of like I don't know Korean but I, <laughs> I'm getting I'm picking up on the story that they're telling what I think they're uh, talking about is um, the universe being you know their experience of life kind of and uh, like they their existence having been like kind of tied up in knots, you know, just restrained and just not maybe that tying up in knots being uh, endemic of not expressing yourself, just kind of being alone and solitary. And whereas like even something maybe as simple as uh, sharing a cup of coffee with someone is what sets you on the path to finding friends, finding this group and kind of opening up and breaking the knots and the ties. That was a lot of assumptions to make based on this music video, but like yeah, it, it feels like it was actually a very simple yet very expressive MV. So let's check out the lyrics and see if I am anywhere near close. I feel like I'm way overstepping. But I'm gonna see if there's captions on the coffee MV version. So yeah, y'all were probably thinking, what are you talking about coffee version? No idea what I'm talking about. Apparently my nods were not good to <laughs> not very good there's like uh cafe type of teasers and everything and that was probably what they uh what they meant was to check out the teasers beforehand oh well uh it's passed so instead we are just gonna jump into the lyrics here or correct me if i'm wrong i have no idea i don't do a ton of searching right all right in we go Yeah, I really do like this instrumentation and just the nice, easy piano, nice beat to it. And then the electric guitar comes in later. I'm like, yeah, that's this is my kind of slow song. I would definitely, I would definitely playlist this one. Like they 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 nailed it. Like I don't know how EXO keeps doing it, but like they they make my kind of music. They really do, kind of across the board. I think they've only had one song so far that I've uh, reviewed and been like, eh, I'm not really my thing. You know, but this is actually as far as slow songs go, this is my thing. Uh, contrary to how I feel, painful words come out. Contrary to how I feel, painful words come out. So, that would mean that he doesn't feel painful. Okay. 
I made you struggle, and I'm struggling too. Unlike my determination, nothing's getting better. I always disappoint you, and I regret it too. Okay, so not not quite what I was uh, thinking there to begin with. That's, um... Yeah, struggling, disappointing you, regretting it, just kind of... I'll see if I can pull what I'm thinking into words in a second here. I don't think I can forget you when the wind gets cold. The night our breaths touch with smoke coming out of our mouths, the condensation. We warmly held each other with happy laughter. Nights we dreamed of a tomorrow that will shine like the stars. I'll search the earth until I can find you again. I won't let go even the smallest memories. Memories engraved in the seasons. They come and go several times, but I will still call out to you. So is this a, uh, and again, I, I like songs that tell a story, and this feels like a story in which they're sitting down with a person. So it's not like they, the person is completely in the past. Um, but maybe the, their relationship is a little, or at least the relationship that they knew and loved, the reason they're in a relationship is kind of in the past. And they're saying, hey, I want to get back to that. Is that what we're, uh, what we're getting to here? Uh, laughter and tears, scars and healing. Questions and answers, they're all in you. You have my world, you're my small universe. The moment it vanishes, I will disappear as well. Okay. So it is kind of a little bit of a love song, and you can interpret like the the great thing about lyrics and art and the, the um verbal art with lyrics is you can you can definitely interpret it in the way that you see fit. It's, I won't let go, even the smallest moment. So it seems like, yeah, it's talking about uh, a love, a relationship that maybe it's seen its better days, like in the in, in the moment they're experiencing, the, the, the present in this story. The relationship has had its better days, and they're talking about how not going to let go of this, like not going to let go of this relationship. Like they make it, they make it, they disappoint. He, the main character, is disappointing the other person. And gosh, let's, where am I at? 227? Let's go back to the beginning here. Um, the painful words coming out, um, make it, they're struggling and the, making the other struggle too. Nothing's getting better. Um, always disappoint you. And I regret it too. Uh, you know, let's talk about how the, the relationship, the, time that they're having is struggling you know but at the same time they're sitting down and they're talking it out is this and they don't want to give up on the relationship you know they're they're gonna get back to those even the smallest memories that were good and happy um that just because you know there's talk about you know there's language about the weather you know that's right now things might be cold I don't know why I'm feeling the urge to go back right here. Oh, wow, that was, that was good. <laughs> I don't think I can forget you when the wind gets cold. And that seems like an analogy in, like, a, putting the weather and the relationship together. Where, like, right now it's cold. Right now it's cold, and we get that way with people we love sometimes, especially in long-term relationships. You know, anybody who's been in a long-term relationship, uh, particularly, honestly, those who have been married, living together for years, you know that things get cold sometimes. And but uh, at the same time, you see, you know, has those uh, have those memories of. Well, we have even here that in the night, our breath touched with smoke coming out of our mouth. There's a closeness even in those cold times, you know. That's 
you know, we warmly held each other uh, with happy laughter. And that's, and again, it can totally be me just interpreting things my own way, but it feels like it's talking about a relationship in which there were better times, but it's not like just because you're not having a great time right now doesn't mean you just get out of the relationship. Like, there's still love there. There's still good stuff there. And it's just, you gotta find it again. So I won't let go. Even the smallest memories. Memories engraved in the seasons. come and go several times, uh, but I will still call out to you. Yeah, the memories, the good memories, the seasons coming and going, memories always bring tears. Where it was all washed away. Only you remain. These aren't feelings that I can end. And just one day, with just one try, I feel it so much it hurts. Wherever you are, I'll go to you. Yeah, just the picking up. And I love how this, like, it's it's an optimistic tone. Like, I, obviously, you put emotion with music. And I love that it just goes into this optimistic tone with that electric guitar going up. And you're just like, yeah, I will search the universe. It's just... It makes it, like, the music makes it feel not so sad, you know? It's like, it's a determination, it's an optimism. I won't let go. They come back, so I will find you. I will find you. Because that's love. Nice. I really like this song way more <laughs> now that I have heard the lyrics. Uh, because, and like I said, it's, you probably put different spins on, you do put different spins on music depending on where you are in life. And I can absolutely see how this can be a song that's about bandmates, that's about, you know, fandom, that's about uh, new relationships, that's about breaking up. Uh, for me, as somebody who has been married for, you know, double digits now, it's, you know, songs like this hit a little bit differently for me because, you know, when, when, after you've been married for a while and you at least appear to be happy about it, um, <laughs> the, you know, people ask, hey, you know, what's the, you're coming up on 15 years, what's the, what's the secret, you know, they think there's some big secret, and there's, there's not, you know, that's, for, for me, the whole thing with being married in the long term is, like, not giving up on the person, not, not giving up on things, not walking away when things get cold, you know, not, because you're going to have those seasons and the ups and downs and the memories being sweeter than the current day, you're going to have a lot of that throughout uh, your long-term relationship. And I really love <laughs> that, you know, this as an older individual in a long-term relationship, that this makes me think of, yeah, yeah, that's love. That right there, that is love. Um, that you don't give up. You continue to, like, that person becomes a part of your universe, becomes your universe, where, like, even when things are just not great, you know, like, in the very beginning of the song, and they're talking about just, you know, things are not great, that you take, you make the effort, and you sit down, and you talk over a cup of coffee, and you get at least back, you get something back you, you find a way back to some sort of you as a 
not as an individual you, as a plural you, uh, who you are in that, in, in a relationship together. And that is love. You know, that is love, is coming back around, not pushing away, not saying, all right, yeah, this is too hard. Like, sitting down with that cup of coffee and uh, talking it out. That's, that's the secret. <laughs> There's, it's not a big secret, you know. It, it's that uh, till death do us part <laughs> thing. And if you're going to do that and not be miserable, you have to sit down with a cup of coffee and talk about stuff and figure out why things are cold. Figure out um, why you're struggling, why things are disappointing, and get back the good times yeah <laughs> went all auntie on that one um say bye to the cats i think i'll text my husband and tell him that i like him <laughs> all right y'all have yourselves a wonderful day keep recommending more stuff to me good love this one